Hi there, here's a short video on how to produce and submit PLMDs through the Numisma platform. So to get started, you'll need to navigate to a payroll profile. You could do that by going to the client section on the left menu or going to payroll. But what I'm going to do is just quick jump to Barney's Bolorama. And that will open up the bookkeeping profile for me. And then payroll on the left menu. And now I'm in the payroll profile. So from this point, what you'll need to do is go into edit company in the top right hand corner and go to payroll details. And from payroll details, you'll just need to turn on P11D. Uh, if you've already done that, you can skip this step and you can go straight to the next step, which is to go into an employee profile. So back to the payroll dashboard, on the left menu, go to an employee. So if I select Ash Hall here and select edit, and then expenses and benefits will appear. Um, and then within expenses and benefits, you can go ahead and populate their car details if they had a car as a benefit in kind, any loan information, as well as other expenses. Now, one expense that I have already input for this employee is private medical insurance. And I've put in 1800 pounds and the amount made good of 200 pounds. Now that hasn't been put through the payroll, so I'm not going to select the payroll tick box. But if there was also other benefits, I could put in relocation expenses, and then it's highlighting to me that any excess of over eight thousand pounds, so I could just put in one thousand pounds and save that. And now, when going to the reports on the left menu, you can go to P6Ds, P45s, and P11Ds. And we can switch that to the P11D to then see each individual P11D for each member of staff. Okay, so there's no none of these types of benefits that have been added. Car hasn't been added. However, private medical insurance has been. And the calculation is there for you. So the amount made good of £200 means there's a £1,600 benefit in kind. And then there's also a £1,000 benefit in kind in relation to relocation expenses. So the total there is 2,600 of, of benefits in kind. So now if we go back and go to filing management on the left menu, you can switch payroll to P11D and you'll see the NIC payable here and you can see the submission status. Now, if you wanted to see the employees from this page, you can select the employees and you'd be able to download their P11D. You can also make adjustments. And you can also export the P11D B as a PDF. So if you wanted to send this to your client, you can. Uh, and then once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and press submit and that will submit uh, the P11D information to HMRC and it will meet the requirements uh, for the submission which is due uh, around about the 19th of July. I hope this helps. If you do have any questions or queries, please do get in touch on 020-3021-2326 or support at numisma.co.uk. Thank you very much. Take care. Goodbye.